I'm Olin Rogers, the creator of Final Space, and I voiced Gary, Mooncake, and Tribor. Yeah, Mooncake was uh, kind of the inspiration for that was essentially to, you know, have my own Chewy, you know, you know, like Gary's Han and, and Mooncake's that Chewy, you know. Um, I just love the idea of, of a creature that just uh, speaks in gibberish, but only one person understands it, you know. <laughs> chocolate in there. No, no, no. <laughs> it's chocolate <laughs> pack. You know, Star Wars, Star Trek, you know, Sunshine, uh, Interstellar, uh, Moon, 2001, uh, you know, Space Odyssey. I mean, it's all of those kind of uh, combined a very cinematic thing that I wanted to do with this. And so, um, and you'll definitely see it as, it as it goes on. It gets more cinematic and, and epic. Uh, it, was, it was something that, you know, we always planned on in one of the, the main things for doing that is we wanted to have genuine emotion. And, you know, funny enough, that's, that's one of the saddest moments. It's not the saddest moment. Dream scenario, you know, you, you hope that essentially can happen, but uh, it was a little bit of a surreal moment to experience that, you know, because it was just like, is everybody joking? Like, what is going on? Because I had been working for a decade online and nobody you know, gave me the time of day, and then all of a sudden everybody wanted something to do with me, you know. So it was it was a very surreal moment, and um, yeah, I just hope I don't screw it up, you know. <laughs> Gary takes a lot of energy out of me, um, and I and Mooncake is, is a blast just because it's, it's, you know, such a cute little thing, you know. Um, I think Tribor is the funnest, and it, the funny thing is, it's like he's, in the first three episodes, like, Everybody's like, you know, I, this character, I don't, I'm not sure about him. But when he comes back, I'm telling you, it's, it, he will be everybody's favorite character. Because uh, he's very sassy and he's very just like into himself. Uh, it's, it's a really funny character. Man, I, I mean, that's, that's tough because it's like there's, there's too many, you know. Um, but I really love Scorny Weaver, you know. And I would love to do something with her. I don't know. She's just phenomenal, yeah. It was always kind of like the idea behind the cookie stuff and um, was, did you guys ever see like uh, Zombieland or whatever? Yeah. With the Twinkie, oh, yeah. you know? <laughs> I just love that idea of, of somebody being obsessed over the most mundane thing and um, it was just kind of like also an idea to create um, really insanity. Like this guy's insane. Like he wants a freaking cookie. Like who, why? What? what like he's insane. <laughs> Well, I think it's, it's, he's, he's sporadic, he's eccentric, you know, I think he is um, even slightly annoying, you know, yeah, and it, but I think as you watch, and especially when you get to episode 10, you'll see that he's a completely different guy, you know, and that was always the kind of, from the get-go, I mean, imagine just being alone for five years with Kevin, you know, <laughs> like you would be insane. You would, you wouldn't, you kind of lose the way to talk to people and interact with people. And, um, I mean, people even now when they're just all on the internet, they just, they don't even know how to talk to people anymore. So it's like, you really got to think like five years of that. And, but I think once you see episode 10, you'll be like, all right, I see, I see this guy, you know, I see him for what he is now, you know? Hey, I'm Coatsy Galloway. I am the voice of Avocado in the series Final Space, baby. <laughs> we were sitting in the car and he said, you know, I was thinking about this character, a bounty hunter cat type guy. And I said, oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> and he loved this idea, right? Of, 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 because I said, we should call him Avocado with a T. Oh. He loved this idea. He loved it. It was just like, yeah, epiphany. No, um, and um, so we, so we, uh, uh, it stuck in a sense. And uh, he called me a couple months later and said, hey, guess what? Uh, I pitched it. They liked the idea. We're going to do this thing. I'm like, yes. They really did create something magical with Final Space, like script wise. Oh, man, I'm telling you, it's the, like the great, for instance, the great cast is a part of it. I think part of it is because the scripts were so freaking magical, so good. And um, yeah, and, and then the character Avocado developed even further to where he is now. And, and I, I owe Olin a, a ton of credit for really having me uh, a part of it, for fighting for me to, to even get an audition. Um, in the beginning, uh, that was kind of mentioned like a Star Wars-y Han Solo-ish kind of guy, but then when, as an actor, when I'm developing characters in a sense, I always go to the root of who they are. 
and 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 I feel avocado. His story is is very. He's a lot of barriers, and and I think that's great with uh, Gary and Avocado's uh, relationship. Is this guy chiseled away at Avocado's barriers, right? Bo, bo, bo. Yeah, bulldoze it, yeah. And until he he tapped into his heart, and you see him like episode two, where he has that decision to go back or not, and and it's there. And and and, and I think that, it, 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 yeah, it, it's it's an amazing amazing thing that. Being able to be in a booth with someone that you're friends with and that chemistry's there and you can just run, run off. Because there's a lot of things that wouldn't have been in the script. But yeah. That led to some laughters because we were getting just into it as a whole, this whole monologue. We're improving, right? Just improving this thing. Uh, and uh, oh, there's a lot. Of, Melanie De Winters. I love Melanie De, De Winters. Y'all like Melanie? <laughs> um, one of my favorite characters. You know the skin suit. Oh my gosh! In the script, I laughed so hard. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what kills me. Is this dude? After all that, accepts himself as their mother. I was like, what? Is, this dude's insane. Hi, my name is Tika Sumter, and I play Quinn on Final Space. I literally laugh in the booth all the time. Like they play it for me and I'm just like <laughs> and they're like, okay, we have to actually work. <laughs> so I love it. I mean and actually seeing it all come together on screen, man, I, I just she's like a little badass, but like fun, but she's just focused on her job. But I think what you'll see going onward is her kind of loving this kind of crew of misfits, you know, and they're all over the place. So it, it's been fun. It's been fun. I love those funny moments, though, where he's like, Gary, you know, yeah, he's like, you know, and it's like, she's like, I'm what? It's just, you know, everybody else has these. I think it's even harder for her sometimes to like my my focus isn't to get the joke you know what I mean it's to like do the work but in doing the work I feel like it makes it funnier and everybody else around Quinn makes it funnier because she's the straight man you know so um yeah I have a blast um oh that's a good question no I didn't I just you know what I did I just they wrote this character so well and she was really a part of she wasn't just um, an accessory. She was really just, a, she had a strong voice in it. So I just wanted to um, show strength, you know, and just being an actor in general. Like I, literally in the booth you're acting, people think it's just like, oh, you just go in and say whatever. I mean, I wear my pajamas, but yes. But, but I also like, it's like, I'm like tired. I'm like, I really just act today. <laughs> Working with like the whole crew has been, just it's been um a family like a family experience it's been i've just learned a lot you know um i don't know i just go in and i'm like at first i was like nervous because i'm like i've never been a cartoon before what is this whole world and then it's like oh this is cool um so i would love to do more of it and for me it's just it's acting and they made such a um they made a cartoon that makes you feel you know, and even more so as you guys see more, you'll be like, like literally, okay, I have to tell you this, for the reading, like before I even got the job, I had to go in for like an hour and a half to like read. And then they're like, Tika, we need you to be emotional, like almost crying. And I was like, so I turned off all the lights and it's like a scene between me and Gary and like, it was so, I was like, what, what kind of cartoon are you guys making? <laughs> <laughs> so what I love is that they make it so intimate and um, so whatever they do or if somebody else can, you know, um, come up to that level of what they do, I would love to do it. No, I, <laughs> yeah, no, I wasn't. Um, I actually looked up, you know, his background and I was like, what? Like, I, I watched like the one with Final, Final Space, but like, so I was just like, Wait, huh? He like created this thing on YouTube, put it out there. Somebody, an, a, an intern saw it and was like, "You guys need to look at this." That's insane. That like, I, what I love about that, and I loved him for that because it, it makes it feel like the playing field is getting more level. It's more of a democracy of like you two can do what you really want to do, you know, and um, as long as it's good, obviously, but like, and then I met him and he was so sweet and, and so, it, and him and David were awesome to work with, so. 
Have you met any Garys? I think most men are Garys. <laughs> you know, they think they just know everything and they think they're smooth and dapper. And women just play along, you know, and uh, they're like, mm hmm. Yeah, okay. So, uh, I mean, I think a lot of people are Gary. They just don't know it. <laughs> I think Quinn would be like, I can't do this. I can't do this. You're not following directions and the ingredients are all wrong. Let's just go buy some cookies. You know? Like, <laughs> okay, without giving anything away. I think the action sequences um, feel very real. I think you're going to enjoy that. I think you're going to enjoy those possible love connection <laughs> even further you know like her what I do love about her is she's a fully realized character of like she comes in hard but then there's like this strength and vulnerability that goes along and then she gets even more vulnerable and wants to really she really wants to save the earth and she's willing to give her life and so that's the real factor of the show like literally she could die you know and um, she might and so you never know what you're going to get, but there is more emotional, cool stuff that I think you're going to enjoy. I think men and women can both enjoy it, where it's not too sappy, but it's like enough action. So a lot of good things are happening. And I think that boils down. So anyone out there, if you've got a dream, okay, if you, if you support yourself, you love yourself, and, and you love what you're doing, go after it. Don't, do not stop. Dream as big as you can, baby. Go. Take the next step to better yourself in life, you know? That's it. How do you, how can you, how, how can you not hate Kevin? He's the worst. Hey, who's watching? Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Thanks for supporting this channel and everything. You guys rock. And remember, if you haven't seen Final Space, download it on TBS app, tbs.com, and you can watch it all day. <laughs> Binge it, baby. Binge it.